So now that I'm all dressed up, what are we getting ready to do out here today? Well, we're gonna we're gonna look at a project that we completed in partnership with TDOT. This is State Highway 21 right here behind us. Okay. And the road ditch is above the road. And every time a small rain event would happen, the road would flood, the levee would break, wash right. cars into the ditch. So so we came up with a concept and went to TDEC to build a benched channel. Uh, we're working with University of Tennessee Martin and the Nature Conservancy to study to see if our structures have been designed such that the fish can migrate upstream That's through cool. the structures. So these kind of projects, and I know just from my background a little bit and hearing about different projects that we do across Tennessee, but specifically in West Tennessee with the Basin Authority. So they've certainly, you know, we're most interested really I guess with the environmental element of that so so it's really kind of one of the projects that everybody stands to benefit from so we're gonna go look for fish we're gonna go look for fish what this does is it allows us to stun the fish so that we can capture them like as you you know if you look out on the water you can't even see that there are any fish in there but right you know this is gonna help us discover those so basically the way it works is we have uh, a pulsed current that comes out of this end uh, and, and it completes the circuit with a little uh, cable in the back and uh, the way fish's muscles are designed actually is that pulsed current causes them to swim up into that up, up towards this uh, anode here and then then they'll mm. stun when the current's strong enough then we can safely net them up and put them in a bucket and capture them where, where then we're going to tag them uh, based on the location which okay. they were found. So. That's not main? No, it, it, it's a very, a very little mortality associated with it. Um, another technique we could use would be a seine, which is basically a net we could pull through right. there. But uh, with some of this vegetation uh, in the in the surface or the bottom of the channel bed being so rough, uh, it, it's kind of oh. hard to actually. Net was that mean to make me go do that? Not, the, not for the oh, fish. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> It's either going to be a resounding success or I'm going home with a perm. <laughs> were hurt in the filming of this episode. Uh, this is a mix, it's called a visible elastomer tag. Uh, and so what we do is we insert this under the skin of the fish in a, in a unique location. Uh, earlier this morning when we were doing some sampling, we actually found one of the fish that we tagged below this structure. So today was actually the first time we verified that some fish can at least swim up this structure. Uh, after after we tag the fish, we put them in this holding tank, uh, right. uh, and then we're, we're going to return them to the stream. And then so when we come back, basically we're going to be looking for these fish to have gone mm -hmm. upstream of that of that structure. The the issue with a study uh, of this kind is it sometimes is difficult to recapture the fish we tagged. You know, they could right. move downstream, they could be eaten, or just naturally die. So it, really, the the length of time we need to evaluate this is going to uh, be determined by our ability right. to recapture these. So you probably try to just tag everyone you catch out there, at least to start with. At least through this summer and fall we plan on coming out weekly or every few weeks at the worst case and, and trying to relocate these fishes. And as far as I know, this is the first attempt at this in West Tennessee. Yeah, to my knowledge, yeah. Mm -hmm. 